In this lesson, we discuss uh, Mirai uh, source code analysis result presented at Encaptura site and understand what are the key aspects of its design. And the goal of Mirai uh, malware is one, to locate and compromise as many IoT devices as possible to further grow their botnet. The second goal is launching the DDoS attack based on the instruction received from a remote command control server we listed before, and then attack a particular uh, uh, site. IP scanning. Uh, to fulfill the recruiting functions so they can compromise as many IoT devices out there, Mirai performed a wide range of a suite uh, of IP addresses. Uh, but they are somehow try to not uh, antagonize some of the uh, we uh, website. For example, they hard code it with a don't mess with list, and it in the IP address and address range including G that of G, HP, uh, US Post Office, and DoD. Quite a few of DoD side there and maybe they are worried being tracked down and uh, being shut down and uh, they don't want to trigger those efforts by uh, those big, uh, big organizations with a lot of manpower. The list also including uh, private land address, uh, local loopback, IN, IANA, net reserve address, and Malika address. And uh, even though these addresses are useless uh, for outside contact, but they could be IoT devices uh, using the private land address. So it's not clear why they lose this uh, address out. Uh, password cracking. And uh, actually, it's not very sophisticated here. There is about uh, 68 uh, of those user login account. They actually uh, guessed and actually were able to break into those devices and uh, easily guess login credential usually factory D4 installation, use the login password like admin admin, root admin, <laughs> root D4, support support, and root followed by the company's name, the manufacturer's uh, name. Uh, and then the root, uh, for example, root one tag, and root uh, VIZXV, uh, or root real tag, uh, those are company's name. Commonly choose password uh, when the users are lazy, like one, two, uh, three, four, five, six, or just one, two, three, four, five. And then the, uh, the, the reverse of that, uh, six, six, uh, six, six, uh, one, 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 for example. Uh, for longer password and discussion, uh, you, you should see the website here indicate uh, but uh, at 2015, someone actually hacking to web camera. When the effect hit, uh, including Mobitex, uh, Dafa, I, I think they're probably a Chinese, uh, Chinese manufacturer of IoT device, some luxury and SMC, which is a switch uh, manufacturer. Murai use uh, one, of, one kind of uh, special attack which is GRE tunnel protocol message to flood the victims. It's kind of unusual attack type using DDoS attack. Uh, a more frequent uh, protocol message type is uh, the TCP and uh, HTTP, uh, USB, ICMP, but people router uh, drop them. So P TCP, uh, HTTP protocol message are more common. Uh, GRE stands for generic routing encapsulations. It's a tunneling kind of protocol allow uh, user from one side to accept the tunnel, send the message, send it over uh, a secure channel to the other side and then distribute it so that they can treat two a geographic separate site as one uh, big unit. And uh, they are developed by Cisco and can encapsulate wide variety of network layer protocol. Uh, Providing it providing the workaround for network with limited uh, number of hub. Uh, so that tunnel considered to be just one hub. You can consider that. 
So uh, if uh, they're using a, a TDL with smaller value, they, this is a good thing for them to have. Connecting uh, so that they can connect non-contiguous uh, subnet network and being less resource demanding than its alternative, such as IPsec or VPN. Okay. Uh, GRE IP, uh, you can use IP or Ethernet kind of frame to, uh, as a uh, message to flood, in this case, uh, flooding, uh, utilize GRE tunnel message to flood the victim site. Bypass, how we bypass a DDoS, uh, the, uh, uh, the code actually encoded with bypass DDoS defense. And uh, many company uh, uh, hire and use Cloudflare, uh, Flare, and uh, those arrests, uh, those two major, uh, major company to pro provide the DDoS attack uh, protections. In, in Mirai, it mentioned uh, two table and the code uh, for bypassing these two companies' protection. And it is not clear how effective they are. Uh, it also has code detect bypassing uh, as you, uh, code, uh, code flare and uh, those arrest DDoS protection, as you see in the code there. Uh, co uh, code flare use nginx, uh, therefore you see the name, code flare underscore nginx. Uh, those uh, nginx is the name, the type of uh, web server they use. Uh, is instead of Apache, they use nginx. And here is the source uh, source link, uh, which we uh, come up with this information. Like other botnet wireless, once they get into the victim, the first thing they do is to kill uh, other worm and trojan. Uh, this is called territory predator behavior. Uh, it prevents others from using the same victim. It also close down victim uh, important port, uh, disabling telnet, SSH, uh, HTTP service, so that uh, the original owner cannot remote, uh, co uh, connect uh, to, to the compromise uh, the IoT device to restart. And some of these devices could be located in a far away place from the, uh, the original owner. And therefore, it will take some effort for them to go there and then uh, click, uh, reset the, uh, click the reset switch. Uh, it's basic, uh, basic building block, uh, uh, legitimate owner and other from, it blocks the legitimate owner and other from access and remote restore the IoT device. You will say, if these uh, those devices are disabled, how can the hacker themselves connect to the victim uh, device? Uh, it can be done by opening other port or establish uh, a channel back to the, uh, those two servers we just uh, showing you, and uh, such as uh, their command and control server, and uh, maintain that connection, or periodic uh, go back and uh, uh, visit those server uh, to protect from being uh, detected. Uh, Mirai actually search and destroy ANIME malware. Uh, this is a malware of their competitor. Uh, they all, that virus also try to compromise IoT botnet domain uh, device. Uh, it show the third word uh, wage between the two botnet herder. We call them uh, botnet herders. Forensics. So who are behind uh, the crea uh, creation of this Mirai uh, virus? The code actually reveal, including a prompt for username and password. Okay. And that was that prompt was written in Russian language, and as shown here, and uh, therefore the code designer could be Russian, and also there are string uh, in uh, Russian language, which translate to "I love chicken nugget." Okay, so this may indicate maybe this is a young generations, and uh, the, the the person maybe. Uh, live in a city uh, close by with a fast food restaurant. 